As you've seen here, many good things are happening in our region right now. And during this time of so many distressing stories on the fallout of the pandemic, we continue to strive to bring you the many good things and good stories that are coming out of this difficult time. The coronavirus has changed life as we know it, but it's also bringing out the best in our communities. Tonight, Maggie O'Mara has a look at just a few of the good deeds happening right now. This is Piper Davis. I'm 15 and I go to East Junior High School. Like many kids, she's sad about not being able to go to school. Once I realized that it was going to be over, I was a little bit upset and sports were canceled. But once I found out about making these masks, I got really excited because I would have time to do something. And my mom's like, this is a perfect, perfect opportunity to teach you how to sew. So we started um, measuring just some fabric we found in the attic and started making them. And then after my mom posted them on Instagram, people started wanting them and then it just took off from there. Tell me how much time you put in. Usually it's like maybe four hours a day. It's a lot of work, but it's really fun. And I think we've made about 70, if not more. Piper made some masks for these Riverside teachers and they use them while handing out schoolwork in the drive through line this week. So there's no cost. It's just fun for me and my mom to help other people out. Just made me feel really good. Next up, a family of heroes. The Nicolaisons are home these days, just like the rest of us. They're making the best of a tough situation with four young boys. We had a little family chat about how so many things have been canceled, like football and music lessons, school and everything else. Uh, but we decided that kindness wasn't canceled. And even though we had to social distance, uh, that we could still be social. We knew how we were feeling about it and figured that other people would probably be feeling the same way. So we brainstormed some little kindness acts that we could do to brighten everyone's day around town. Before we were all told to stay home, we printed little notes. Um, what did the notes say? Germs are contagious, but so is kindness. We placed them on people's cars with a flower. We saw the reactions and they were really happy. When the governor issued a stay-at-home order, this Meridian family realized they could still spread kindness. Well, we had to get really creative because um, with the same place, we thought, well, we can't really go out into the community we decided to keep it close to our neighborhood. We did like a scavenger hunt for neighbors. But then we rang the doorbell and we ran. <laughs> and they would open the door and what would they find? Like snacks and like some treats. Like an Easter egg hunt. We uh, scattered things in their bushes and under trees. So why is it important, Jen, for you as a mom to have your boys take part in this kind of community effort? The best way to, to feel better ourselves is to serve others. And another hero to tell you about, this is Sarah Sanchez of Nampa. She's the founder of Operation Easter Bunny. And found about 50 Easter baskets and thought, hey, what can I do with these? I think I'm gonna go ahead and fill them up and donate them to people. And so I created a group for people in need and it just completely took off. You are obviously helping the Easter Bunny because this is a tough time for the Easter Bunny to get to everyone. He needs some help. We now have approximately 520 people on the list to receive baskets and treat bags. And we're focusing on people who are um, really struggling with this COVID-19, whether they're unemployed or medically fragile, health risk, health responders and law enforcement who just need a break. I just started tearing up every time I received a story from these families and how hard it is and what they're going through. We've received all donations, monetary and items to fill baskets. We will be delivering them masked and gloved to uh, porches so there will be a limited exposure for everybody involved. Sarah says pitching in at a time like this feels so good. To be able to do this for everybody else is a blessing. Thanks to Sarah Sanchez and her volunteers, it was a happy Easter for so many families after all. All of these Idahoans are Sevens Heroes. 
Just a handful of the many great things going on right now. Hey, do you know something good that's happening right now in your neighborhood? Let Maggie know about it. You can reach her through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email, or something called a telephone, whatever that is.